Hello. Hey, Alexander, how are you doing? Doing great, thank you. How about you? Yeah, fine, fine. Next to the holiday, so yeah, it's, that's everything fine. Yeah. <laughs> Run. Hey, Timo. <laughs> Ciao. Nice. That zoom was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's all, that's all Uh, Ariel, did you uh, see my message about uh, the wiki and the meeting notes? Yeah, I, I was about to ask you um, how should we proceed because I ha I see the here that in the wiki we have the the template meeting meeting note template. So, what's the idea? Is we we are going to use the HackMD and then save it somewhere yeah so my idea now was uh, because i asked uh, open wallet uh, in open wallet foundation and, and they don't really have a solution um, currently like confluence but that may change in 2024 but they said that they're now using um, the wiki to do the notes um, uh, so i set it up as well i thought that's fine um, but i thought it may be nice to use hack and the during the meeting, so we can still have the live editing. So we just like create HackMD, post the template, share the link here. We can all edit, and at at the end, to one of us like archives it in the in the wiki. Okay. Okay. Let's let's do that then. Uh, what about the the, the meeting? Uh, you have sent an email to them to Rai or or I don't know who to set up the meeting. Uh, yeah, to uh, operations. Uh, Open Wallet Foundation operations. Uh, so, oh, um, so you also did that. Yeah, that I think I told you last week in the uh, in our weekly <laughs> meeting, but it doesn't doesn't matter. Hey, <laughs> okay, it, yeah, it no, because I, I asked uh, um, I asked in the Discord and they gave that email. So uh, you uh, based on like the message Tracy uh, sent or. No, I just messaged Tracy or uh, email. I uh, I asked in the Discord, in the Open Wallet Foundation Discord, okay. and they gave yeah. me an email uh, from the operations email within uh, Open Wallet Foundation. Yeah, I should probably add there better in the Discord as well. All right then. Okay, I will I will create the hack the hack and the document if you if you want. Let me let me uh, so can use this one.
Ah, okay. The result will be anything else. Okay. Nice. But yeah, I think we can we can add ourselves to the Can this list? Okay, for the agenda, what do you think we have to discuss today? Okay. Name the discussion around the name, I think. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the most important thing. <laughs> okay, I, I so I will say that we have if I understood correctly, let me know if I'm wrong, but we have two candidates, two main candidates uh, based on, on, on the what we have in our poll and, and also what we were discussing with other maintainers. We have the Fidus and the Credo. How do you pronounce it, Timo? Credo? Credo? Um, I was <laughs> pronouncing it in my head as, as Credo, but... Credo. Um... Okay. I, I don't know because I've only seen it on paper. I'm not the one that that, that came up with the name. <laughs> yeah, I will say it that in Spanish. In Spanish it's credo. Credo like in Italian and yes. So yeah. So what's good about Fidus, this is how I pronounce it Fidus, is that somehow you know that Fidus is is the is the Latin for trustworthy uh, so if you if we call it fidus.js it's like it's like a, a trustworthy javascript you know let's program in a trustworthy javascript that's that's that, that's the, the, the good thing about the the, the the meaning of it um yeah about the credo well i don't know uh, uh, what others think about it, but uh, the problem it has, at least in in my language, in, is that uh, it's related to the religion. It's, it's only that, but it's not some something necessarily bad, right? Well, I mean, I li I liked the comment you made about being agnostic, and uh, yeah, I think. Can be it can be a fun like little side note, like a subtitle in the, um, so, Fidus the, only thing um I just thought of now I heard it for the first time like being pronounced is it is very close to fetus <laughs> I don't know if that is something to worry about it's a bit strange. I am not a fan of the .js, to be honest. If we have to go that way, I it's still favor TS. I know, I know, yeah, I know the what, but but I don't know why not. I mean, TypeScript is popular enough. I think people that 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 write JavaScript are able. They know that. You say TS? TS? Yeah, yeah, I'm not a fan of both, to be honest, but. Um, if 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 one of the two, I would say yes. I think um, what I somewhat like having it in the name. I I also don't think it, it necessarily has to be there, but because like every word is already so used, um, is that if you add it, it would be like if you always pronounce it as like in my head, I pronounce this as fetus or something, not as fetus, but um, okay. If you always pronounce it with the JS or TS, then it like if you Google it, you will always find the the right thing. Like same with credo, if you call it credo TS, um, if you Google that, um, you will find this repository like very soon as the first result in Google. Yeah. 
yeah with the the credo i'm just thinking like you could adding an extra d might might help make it more yeah it's not beautiful though but it, it helps <laughs> like it pronounce it more like it would kill the credo pronunciation credo like creed <laughs> creed credo um We are. We have maybe credits. Uh, credits. <laughs> Sorry. Credits. Okay. Credits. You can also start with the ts, ts dash or something. Yes. I don't know. Maybe we have also to consider how the packages will be called, right? For instance, suppose we have Fidus core, Fidus, or Fidus, if you prefer Fidus to, 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 to not confuse with Fidus. Uh, credentials. Uh... I'm just gonna always pronounce it as a fetus in my head, whether it's going to be fetus or not. Like just same with Paris. I I uh, I I yeah. said it wrongly no. always. And you know that the your 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 designer proposed the this this one arise right. Yeah, I like. I that thought one. I yeah. thought <laughs> I thought it was just for you to to pronounce it. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Here, if we if we call it credo, for instance, it will be credo core, credo credentials. Honestly, I love how it looks. Just credo. aesthetically, I like it a lot. Which one? Credo. Credo. See, it's, See? I don't. It looks. It looks good. Does it have a like a bad? Like you said, it's religious. Is it like a a? Does it have like a um negative relation to it, or no? It's just no. religious. It's faith. No. It's more. It's more faith than than, and it's a little bit the opposite of proving, right? It's it's having faith in something. Well, yeah, it's a fine line. I don't know. It's it's, but it is like having yeah faith in something instead of being sure um but like you have trust but verify and this is like we have like programmatic faith by doing crypto i mean in i the think end, it's quite funny it's not watertight yeah. anyway, so you have to have faith in in the technology then i mean if we can come up with it with with some kind of thought behind it i think it's fine if we like if we can like bullshit our, our way out of it basically to make okay, it let, let's see what Alexander thinks about it. Uh, yeah, basically, uh, I would vote for Credo also. It okay. just looks nicer. By the way, we have uh, agentframework.net in OpenVault Foundation, right? And they're going to keep uh, agent framework name. It's wallet, uh, wallet framework. Wallet. Uh, wallet, okay, yeah. And uh, this project is going into a, a different way than AFJ, basically. Okay, yeah. I was just wondering if we will have some kind of similar projects in Open World Foundation, and uh, they will have completely different names. The problem I have with wallet myself is that it's a confusing term. I've seen people confuse it a lot. For some people, so for a in AFJ, we use it as like encrypted storage. It's sort of a, 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 a term for that. But a lot of people just like a lot of people, I think that are not super deep into the SSI space. They would they think it's a holder thing, uh, like either either an application or a framework is just for the holder, mm -hmm. um, and that's why I'm a little bit wary of using wallet uh, in the name. But that's me. Yeah, it makes sense. Uh, but in fact, we have. Uh... For example, cloud wallet for issuer also. It's still the wallet functionally. But yeah, it might confuse some people, I think. Uh, at least uh, this who are not uh, 
much familiar with SSI, for example. I still think um, like um, we could like I'm I'm open to if there's like between the .NET implementation um, convergence on like what our implementations are. Um, I think um, I would be uh, fine with like using the same name if they, for example, we end up with Credo and they also want to use Credo, but they have like a Credo wallet um, uh, uh, framework. I think yeah, I I don't see a reason to not do that. I think it's just for us like agent framework. I think it's it's just so generic. Also, like what the name now. Um, because you have a browser agent already. Like if I think agent, I don't think necessarily like SSI. Um, yeah. And maybe because it's agent framework under the Open Wallet Foundation that you can like get some context from it. But I think, um, yeah, then having a completely different name may uh, work better. Yeah, and it doesn't have to be that descriptive. Like I, I, I like the fact that, it's, that, that we're going for a name that is not necessarily saying framework or or SSI or agent or we are we are okay in, in the terms of for instance in M npm with credo i don't it, oh. it's an instruction <laughs> two years long oh there is already something some scope the application <laughs> what is credo application I don't know, it's seven years ago, two it's weekly downloads. It's a logger. Hmm. A request to GitHub uh, once before to get uh, a package name, and they replied six months later and gave it to me. Um, but that on, yeah. That was GitHub, right? This is NPM. You know, I, I made a request to GitHub because NPM is now owned by GitHub, but it was for NPM. Uh, okay. Okay, yeah, because they like if if it's an unmaintained, I mean, this is seven years old. It doesn't look like it has <laughs> has a lot of activity. Then they are. Yeah, actually, I only think... the only. Well, it's credit payments API. There's another under the same scope, but there are more. Ah, credo so, countries. Yes. And all the way at the bottom as well. Yeah. Okay, so that, that could be a problem. That's credo dash TS. That ugly, but. Okay. That and I, yeah, you could still, I don't know, dash git or whatever also are also options. Just not too long. Yeah, I mean, we could also like, if this becomes it, then um, we do like, we start with credo TS uh, or something different, like whatever dash and, um, that we then submit a um, um, request to make it um, uh, to get this scope. And if we get it, we can move over. If we don't get it, we don't move over. OK. But I think, I mean, I think we've been so Sorry. Go ahead, Chris. Well, no, I think I think the a, a milestone here is that we seem to agree on credo, credo, whatever you want. Um, so I agree with your approach. Let's then just do that. I mean, it's hard enough to come up with a name. Okay, um, the winner, winner. Let's. Have to see the var the, uh, which variant, but uh, if like I'm curious if, if Kim or Tim have uh, any opinion also. Uh, oh, 
I'm just thinking about it. Uh, yeah, it, it's hard. Names are really, really hard. Have you looked at the Aries? Um, I know it's Aries, high pledge Aries as opposed to an open wallet, but their marketing team, they've got some pretty creative um, people working there. Um, but I wonder if they could, could maybe help with some of this or not. I haven't. Your connection is uh, not too great, Timo. I didn't hear what you said. Yeah. Uh, from my perspective, I'm doing something like open wallet JavaScript or something. Uh, I tend to name some uh, as literal as I can. Can you can you hear me or maybe it's me who lost the connection? <laughs> no, I think Timo is fixing his connection. Okay. He has a connection, web Wi-Fi fixing face right now. So yeah, so I I think Kim is saying that. Uh, it will be for for him. It will be nice to to call it open wallet uh, JavaScript in order maybe to 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 make it tied to the to the foundation, right? Yeah, op open wallet JavaScript is is yeah well, has some some appeal or something like that. Yeah, but we have open world foundation scope anyway in links in GitHub name and probably in packages also. Yeah, I, I think the thing is, is with a name, either pick something that is like you're trying to, you know, Credo and things and Fidus, pixeling it is totally has no real meaning. But you got to be careful. Every so many words you got to look up in, in so many languages and make sure that that um what you've picked really doesn't um doesn't translate badly or you go totally literal <laughs> and um mm -hmm. you can and, I, and it's really just a it's an aesthetic decision but choosing like for instance credo and credo starts i don't know for me there's something about the, the sound of it that doesn't feel great but that's you know irrelevant right it's just an opinion and, and so it, it's difficult when you're picking, picking, um, picking random sort of words or quasi words or words in one language or ancient Greek or whatever the case may be. Um, it's hard to do. Yeah, good point. For me, Fidus is uh, just yeah, kind of sounds bad comparing to Credo, based on languages that I know. <laughs> yeah. We have a company in Canada called Fido, and that's what I think of. Um, <laughs> um, yes, this is a telco. And we have Fido Alliance, of course, as well. Yeah, yeah exactly. Because I think Fido probably is a Greek or historical, if my history was any good. Yeah, Latin. It was Latin. Okay, thank you. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, th 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 I said this earlier in the call. I don't know if you joined. So my personal, I, I personally like to stay away from wallet just because it has, for some people, it has an, a, a holder. Um, it really relates to the holder because it's a wallet. It's something you store your credentials in. Um, of course, that is for people that are a little bit deeper into, uh, uh, into SSI. That is not the case, but... I'd like to avoid, so, I mean, for me, the reason that moving to uh, OWF is because uh, we um, support many more standards than just Aries or just Hyperledger standards. 
And that was, I have talked to a lot of people, and at least in Europe, that is what the, the assumption is there, that, okay, it's just Aries, it's just Ditcom, it's just, it will never support OpenID and that, that kind of stuff. I would like to avoid um, people making assumptions based on the name, again, um, while that isn't necessarily true. Now, maybe that's just my opinion. Um, I, if I look at the scoping here, the, uh, the at OWF is also quite neat. Um, maybe we can substitute the F for framework. So you have open wallet framework or something. Um, but yeah, you mean just one. you mean o O W F framework? No, just not. Got, I mean, it's not a foundation, right? <laughs> the, the, yes. The, so open just, wallet framework. Uh, yes. Okay. But... Yeah, that that would be then the. The acronym let's say we, we i think that the problem with like owf is is that there's uh definitely going to be other typescript libraries from owf and then then that's going to be a problem and then it's very confusing like which packages come from this and um which don't so i i, I would not be very in favor of like using the owf scope to publish things that's a good point yeah, yeah but well, we can maybe do it more verbose <laughs> Baron's going to love you for that. Yes, yes. <laughs> he was complaining about typing so much. <laughs> open web framework, open ID for verifiable credentials. What about that? <laughs> Client. No, is that okay? That's the problem here. Maybe we uh, put something in like decentralized identity uh, type script or something. I mean, something like deep. No, but th 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 there are already some other, other things. I think that the, the the main reason why we have we came up with those with these names is that we wanted to find something related to to the word trust. That's main main because we we didn't want to to tie it to to to, to Ditcom or to uh, credentials or or to uh, decentralization, but we wanted. To to emphasize on the on the on the trust, on, which is something that somehow uh, is related with everything we we do in the within the framework, right? Well, what about um, using trust framework in the name in some way? Yeah, that, that code, was yeah, or as um, yeah. the, the 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 pro that I, I like it because but that that is also an option that came by, but um. The only thing I can think about that might be a problem is trust framework, at least in the European context, like the e, the whole EU stuff is used as sort of governance framework. It's it's used as a, as a as a term for that, or um, yeah, basically governance frameworks and things as things like uh, uh, how is it called uh, uh, registries um, like. Uh, well, registries that tell me which which issuer to trust, etc. Um, so I think it could relate to some confusion. Trust JS is cute though, but maybe we where shouldn't overthink this too much. There's always a case to make. What you might want to do is put a number of suggestions and put a poll up, um, kind of like the um, and get people to sort of provide feedback because you get a lot of diverse opinions on uh, on the names. Yeah, we tried already, oh, <laughs> but we <sorry. laughs> yeah we we got some some ideas. Unfortunately, the GitHub polls are not so <laughs> so good because. Uh, when you want to to add some other options, um, 
uh, you have to, to delete every, every, every previous uh, answer. But I think we have in the discussion. Main you problem that post, okay. posting it in, in um, Discord, you get a wider audience, and a, you get an audience also outside of the um, yeah. community who would actually you might you get a lot of interesting opinions. I well, think. I, I I post this poll in there, <laughs> but okay. yeah, so I didn't see we had a fides, so then we, we came out with uh, fiducia, and then fidus. We have this open wallet framework JS that this Iorium wallet. Uh, I think uh, it's uh, it's already taken. Not 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 Iorium wallet, but the Iorium. There is there are some projects related to that. The Just Agent. I don't know exactly the meaning behind Just in this context. Maybe it's just because it sounds nice. I think Karim like it. <laughs> I like I, I like jazz funny. actually. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, it's yeah. yeah I have then I, I have a problem with agents because it's not. I mean, that sort of to me gives me the feeling that it's more like an Akapai thing, like an agent, pre-made agent I can spin up and then configure. Oh, well, yeah, it's a framework. Yeah, it's framework. No? Then it's misleading to me. What about Jazz Framework? I think the reason I'm guessing Jazz because right now SSI is a bit like Jazz, right? Everyone's improvising all over the place, but it's trying to get to get one cohesive um, sound. Anyway, yeah. What about the Open Trust? I mean, Open Trust. It says exactly what it is, right? Um, open Trust. I like it in a way. Zero package. Oh, that's nice. And with a dash, we, we, we go to we go to, yeah. I, I dash is also it. free, I think. No, no, okay, that's fine. Not found. Okay. Open trust. <laughs> I think. I mean, I, I I do like the idea of putting up another another vote. Um, but I think the problem with the last vote is we had an open answer category, which basically means everybody like there. Yeah, you can just add answers until until forever. So if we just take take a few of these options and put them up. That might not an open vote anymore, but like these are the options. Um, um, vote on it, and then we can um, make a final decision. Just like some candidates, maybe like Credo, Open Trust. I don't know if we need to include Fides uh, because it seems like less popular than Credo, so why include it? Um, and maybe a third one if we can come up with. But uh... yeah, but. How long should we wait until we have a... The 31st of December at 12 o'clock. Make it a New Year's thing. There are already people in, in, in holiday, so I don't know. Oh, that's bad. The only thing I, I, I can say this is, is that open trust or open dash trust is already available. We have nothing uh, else to do that, but just uh, creating the scope and and and, and that's so. uh, with Credo. We know that we have some issues because we have, we will need to to ask for the for the scope, and there are also other projects. There are also some. Well, according to to what I I understood from from team, and uh, is that probably it doesn't sound that good i don't know if you want to 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 wait a little bit okay there is no problem but we i think like as individual trust it would be like the repo name would probably be like open trust framework javascript or something quite long 
Open Trust Framework. Open Trust, I don't know. Sankus, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I already thought about Sankus. I mean, the good thing is that we that you have uh, Open in it, which kind of matches with the Open Wallet Foundation. Yeah, that's a good point. The trademark. <clears throat> um, and and why do we want to make it remarkable? I'm not sure. It's something that Tracy mentioned. It's uh, just so uh, people can um, just use the name also for projects of their of their own. So, for example, we have once created a Arise CLI which we couldn't do because it arises is, is, is trademarked by Hyperledger. So we had to rename the, the project or we had to move it to Hyperledger. So it just makes sure that you, um, you don't get a lot of things that use the same name as your project. Um, I don't know what the other reasons are. Like, I don't know, like I, I don't really care about if people would use the name for other things, if it's related to it, but maybe it's also if, I think if you trademark it, other people can't use it anymore to build something in the um, in the same uh, like area um, by using that name because you have trademarked it, and so then there you have like the right to use that name. Okay. Uh, I mean, it is it is quite generic, so it would be chances of someone else being like jumping jumping into it it actually surprises me that it's that it's not taken yet um because openness and trust stuff is it's quite a popular combination so there's a big chance that it will happen i guess at some point Well, if you if you want, we can we can update the the poll and with uh, these two options. And um, let's see. I don't know. We can wait as as you said until the thirty one of December. <laughs> that was a um, joke. Yeah. <laughs> no, we should give people the chance to uh, to to vote. So probably lift it over I don't know two two weeks into January. It's just it is a blocker for a lot of other stuff. For like... yes, it is it is a blocker because we cannot uh, we cannot release alphas until we have uh, this name because we unless I'm, I'm i'm working on that to um um I've, I've i've been chatting with right today to uh like uh, open wallet nation has now created a um uh an npm account and um i've asked if we can add the error framework scope to the open wallet account now so that we can keep publishing under the error framework scope for now um and i thought like because i also moved uh, like the meeting notes now so if we also the final thing that we need to do is move the meetings but i think then at least we have moved everything over to open wallet foundation and then we just like i think then we're good to um wait for a bit with like the whole name and do that um, when uh we have decided on a name where did you move the meeting notes to the wiki yeah so we now have like the live uh i can be we should probably add a link to the template, um, but I also posted it in, in, in Discord, um, but it's in the wiki of the AFJ repo. But I mean, okay, but not the, like, the historical meeting notes, because I would like, at least I want them to be available somewhere at the end, like, I don't know if they are planning to, to, to delete the Aries, um, the Aries Confluence pages or the Aries JavaScript. Confluence pages at some point. Um, I 
No, okay. Okay, so let's do like that then. Yeah, I think if, if if we can still publish the alphas with uh, every spring work, uh, that well, that will be very nice because even even if we are uh, most people are in holidays right these weeks. Uh, for instance, I have the question from from the guys from areas BCX because they wanted to to do some tests on the deep peer interrupt test in the deep peer four. So uh, I think it would be nice if we can we can just uh, uh, make it available as as soon as possible in in npm. Okay, so we will do the, the the poll with these two options, right? Do we yeah, I'm fine with that. Yeah, just two. Yeah, maybe third one also fine if we have a good option. I'm thinking. I mean, we have so many things come by that I don't know. Maybe we can get a third one in there. What has the most votes on the current poll? Uh, mm -hmm. well, there, there are only six votes actually, but we have agent, <laughs> agent trust framework. Well, another. it's three, two, one. Unfortunately, we don't have any name. It isn't it isn't a name vote, so I don't know. But we know that agent is not is not something that we can use actually. It's it's, it's too generic for 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 any kind of thing. So I I think it makes sense for us because it's okay. It's well, it's already the name of the <laughs> of the repo. It's AFJ, so we uh, we already know this framework like AFJ, but. Uh, as you said, Karim, we, we, the, the, the whole point of, of moving or the main point for, for moving to Open Wallet Foundation was to to, to make, uh, to, to, to have a, a broader audience, uh, more contributors. And so if we keep using this uh, in the terms, because it, it was created in the Indie or areas, I don't know. Uh, I think it will know it will it will not be a, a good idea. What do you mean was created by Indy? Agent. Agent, yes. It's it's, it's yeah, a I term that did, came somewhere in the... did something, I think. Or did come, okay. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, the term agent, I, I I have seen that in into in the in some areas RFCs. So Okay, uh, let's do it like that. And I don't know if any anything else. Yeah, I actually have a question, <laughs> more nice. technical one. Yes, that one. That's uh, nice. So yeah, uh, it's about push notifications and AFG based mediators. So on recent Byfold call, uh, BCGov team uh, announced that they finished up setting up. Uh, push notifications uh, for BC Wallet and added the support for Aries by fault also. Mm -hmm. And I double checked this implementation and it looks like they have everything in place uh, for setup where AFG is uh, client side uh, to receive uh, push notifications based on Firebase platform. And Akapai is mediator that actually sends the push notifications when Edge Wallet uh, receives some messages. Uh, and uh, I was wondering, uh, so I double checked that IFJ seems to have no such support from mediator perspective. So we can't use, uh, for similar setup, we can't use IFJ as mediator on the Akapai. Uh, for example, if we want to use uh, the same thing with Aries by fault. And uh, yeah, I was wondering if uh, 
I want to double check if anyone uses uh, AFJ based mediator in production. I, as far as I remember, we already discussed it in the past, but yeah, just to remind. And uh, if uh, such push notification setup, uh, mediator push notifications are on some someone's uh, roadmap, or at least uh, is, will it be useful to anyone else? Have this. Uh, well, I I'm not sure uh, if they follow the same protocol uh, that is that was. I think I yes, think. it's based on uh, some RSRC protocol. So maybe they they are using this uh, uh, extension for yes for, so for client side. Uh, yeah, this there one. is a FJ extension. Yeah, for push notifications. But it contains only client side implementation, as far as I see. And for Akapai, yes. they have a Firebase plugin that allows Mediator to send uh, push notifications to Edge Wallet. Yeah, in, in in terms of the of the server side, we we, we are using that. We we are, we are using this this plugin in our uh, mobile application, and we are sending the notification. Well, we are. Uh, using this to um, uh, to receive the well, to coordinate the the the, 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 the push notification. I mean to to send the the, the token. Yeah, device uh, we, we, the device token. Yeah, with with the FCM in in our case. And what we do is in, in on the server side is just to uh, well as. Uh, what we do is in, in in the message repository when when we when we receive a, a message um, and if the client is not connected we just uh, look into the connection metadata I think and and if there is a token we we send the message through uh, FCM right mm -hmm. uh, but uh, it's it's not something it's it's just a, a few lines of code in in our case I don't know if 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 it would be needed to, or it would be nice to to create a plugin for the for the server side. What do you think about about that, Timo? How did you implement it? Um, yeah, I think I implemented it uh, because it's very related to the mediator code. So I think now yes. that we have um, proper events, we could create a, a plugin for it, but. I actually, in the implementation I did, that's also why I didn't open source it. Um, it's implemented in the message repository itself because there exactly. we are up to date of the, the queuing uh, stuff. Right. But I think it could be quite useful to have server side implementation. Yeah, I see. Thank you. So basically, yeah, Akapai implementation is just listening for undelivered events on Akapai site and just sends the push notification to the mobile app. And uh, I double checked that IFJ has uh, such events also. So all prerequisites for this implementation uh, are in place. Yeah, so, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What, what what we are doing is more or less the same. We are we are just. Um... You know, we have the, the message repository that uh, that receives a call to the add message to, to the queue when 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 the the client is, is not connected. So at that point, we we just uh, send the notification. But maybe as uh, I think it could be a, a good idea to uh, well, the, the, there is a, an event we are we are sending when when we uh, send. To for for pick up the, I will, I think it, if I can I can show you. I got There's it basically. Event. There is an event queued for pick up. I think. When we send a message to uh, to the queue to the pickup queue because it's not connected, we are emitting this event. The, Mm -hmm. We are we are sending the the we are emitting the uh, message sent event with the status 
uh, queue for pickup. That's what we, what we are saying. But maybe we, we can do it more explicit so it, it can be more uh, more straightforward to, to use, maybe. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I think that, uh, yeah, if we're going to have some plugin or extension for server side in this case, I think we can just uh, do it right away. For example, we don't need uh, some some actual changes in AOJ core yeah. for this. And what do you think? Uh, if we're going to implement such extension, should we extend the existing extension, push notifications one, or create a separate one for server side? I would say it's possible to to use the to update this the mm -hmm. current one and, and make it uh, usable for for both. Yeah, I think it will be good if we, if we will have maybe uh, on the dependencies um, you have to add for it. So if you have to add a lot of heavy dependencies, I think it would be better mm -hmm. to do it separately so we don't have to like when you use this package in in React Native that you. Uh, have oh. to use it, um, like have to install all these dependencies. But if it's like just making a patch call yeah. um, without any dependencies to a server, then I think we can add it to the same one. Yeah, I think so. And it will be good to have this open sourced in the extension so we can reuse implementation. I will say that, yeah, then we can do it, but yeah, we can, we can see. Okay, that's it. Thank you, guys. All right. Well, in, in terms of the status, uh, Timo, you say that you managed to fix the problems with Ascar in the in this refactor, right? We have only to wait until Andrew answer about the the Anon Creds proof. Uh, yeah, so I, uh, with some fixes in errors, Oscar, like there is the issue with error messages being overwritten because there's too many calls simultaneously. But um, in the end, um, it got I got it fixed by always using the native error code and just like sometimes having not the error message, but that is actually fine. And now it yeah. um, so it isn't prone to like multiple process is calling get current error anymore. Um, so I think that's fine for now, but there is still the issue of um, the proof being created by um, Anoncred SRS returns two proofs as you discovered and the one from India SDK only one, um, which seems a bit weird. Um, and I don't know if like in, in the SDK, it did like, it proved that both the H and the name values were coming from the same credentials and that now it's just two separate proofs um, uh, for like H predicate and name, but like they don't have to come from the same credential anymore. I don't, I don't really know, but it, it seems weird. Like it might be, could be like security related. Yeah, and also we have already done several tests where we we were using an encrypted RS against uh, in the in the SDK verifiers and and it worked uh, fine until now so it seems like it is this, it should be equivalent right for for the for the sake of of verification because somehow it works I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, I think maybe both are valid, um, exactly. but just that the one proves like more combined. Um, uh, but yeah, it would be weird. It should detect it maybe somewhere like, hey, it should be a combined proof in this case instead of two separate proofs. Yeah. Uh, hello, guys. Uh, I have a question uh, regarding uh, integrating new deed to the current AFJ system. Like, 
uh, if I introduce myself, I am from Bangladesh and I am working as a research engineer. Basically, uh, it's a university project. So what I am trying to achieve is that I want to integrate new deeds in AFJ. But uh, I have gone through the checked module, like how they have implemented it and integrated it with AFJ. But when I am trying to do some similar stuff, I am getting some issue when uh, I am trying to you know inject the DIT into the wallet. I have already created an issue, but I haven't got any response there yet. So if you guys anyone can give me a heads up about how I can solve it, it will be very helpful for me. Mm -hmm. Okay, do, do you have the reference for the issue? Yeah, it's open and... Uh, oh, it's 1674. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's one. Yeah. Okay, yes. Um. Yeah, I, I saw um, I saw the issue, but um, I I couldn't immediately see like what the issue was. Maybe uh, I don't know if you're using it in a bigger project, but if you could create like a minimal uh, example repository that I can easily run where you have this issue, then I can take a look at it and 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 do a, a fix. But it's it's quite hard to see like this why uh, things are going wrong. Like basically, uh, I am trying to just integrating a simple custom module. Okay, I am doing nothing much there. I am just trying to uh, resolve the uh, agent configuration using the dependency manager. It gives me road there. So when it tries to register the dependency manager, I I have two two two, two suggestions. Uh, one of them is that maybe you you can avoid creating a, a new module. You can probably use simply create the 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 different resolver and register classes and 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 just put them here without the need of using a, a custom a custom module. Probably I'm not sure about how is your uh, but if I do that, then mm -hmm. it gives me error on the. Uh, when it tries to resolve that deed repository, okay, then I can uh, create the deeds, but it don't get stored into the wallet. That's weird. And and the other thing is that this kind of errors are usually strong when you are mixing up different uh, uh, AWS framework packages versions. So maybe maybe in your re repository you are using, for instance, the uh, 0 for 2 for the core and uh, 0 for 3 uh, 0 5 alpha or something for for for, for other packages. I'm pretty much sure like I am I am using 0 0.4.2 for all of my packages well you can you Festival can one, so. you can make sure by for instance you you can you can do you can force the resolutions just to to make sure that that everything it's uh, under the same version, but maybe I don't know. But but yeah, as, as Timo said, if, if we can get some some more more context, it will be easier to to reproduce. Okay, uh, I will share what you guys want. Like, if you want more code regarding this, I can also share. All right. Well, I think okay, okay. I think we are uh, we are it's it's already an hour. Uh, just a, a note, Timo, uh, regarding the time for the meeting. Um, what do you think if we we go back to the UTC time zone in order to not have this issue about the summer time because. You know, six a.m. Usually, in during the summer in the in the northern hemisphere, 
it's quite uh, hard to get people from the west of the US uh, coming to the, to the meetings. So if we keep it uh, like this, I think it will be easier. Um, yeah, I think we've had so much trouble over this. Um, so, um, and I think last time people were quite uh, like on like high pleasure meetings are often held in like US time zone. So, um, uh, I think it's good like this, but we can uh, reopen the the topic if it's needed. Really, because it, it I think it was not something that we were planning to do, and uh, it was it was something that was. Um, I mean, previously we we were on the UTC before I don't know March of this year. But okay, if you if you prefer to keep it like that. It's just like last time it has like caused so much trouble every time. Um so like I'm just not too keen on like opening up this can um again with like but we probably I, make it better for one person and then we make it worse for another person and then we get into this discussion again and then we maybe change it and then a few months later we change it back so like i i i think we've tried both sides um uh, no yeah okay so, okay but but what i'm saying is that it this is like that it used to be on utc and not in purpose it was changed to Pacific time because that's that 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 became Pacific time because of the I don't know the, the reschedule when we did uh, biweekly or something like that. That, that, that. That's what I'm I'm saying. So to me, this is this is a this was like this because of a, of a mistake but uh, if you th think that most people prefer to to stick it to to that uh, time zone it's 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 okay for me it's just i mean for me it's it's, it's a good time i mean it's 10 or 11 a.m for me so it's, it's the same but what i noticed was that, that, that during summertime there was a lot less people uh, coming to the meetings. Yeah, I also noticed that. It feels like it's uh, attendance is lower. Um, definitely. But isn't that just because of vacation and stuff? Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like if we stick with summer time and or with the with the time change, then every year we will have this discussion. Well, I mean, yeah, probably also when we stay with the UTC. I don't know. I'm also I'm also a bit done with discussing it every time. Well, okay, let, let, let's keep it like that for for now. No, there's no problem. But you know, the the day when. Uh, nobody will attend. I will remind you this thing. That's good. <laughs> okay. Okay. So so I will I will uh, update the poll uh, for the name so uh, we can we can get this uh, this name thing as soon as possible uh, ready. And um, well, I wish you a, a good holiday. Do we set a, one thing? Do we set a deadline? I th I think we should because otherwise it's going to be yeah okay. Uh, well, I don't know. Well, two weeks. Yeah, two weeks in January weeks. should be fine. Okay. Yeah, so we will we will enter this uh, for the new meet the the next meeting. We will have a the name chosen and everything. Fine. So. Yeah, so well, see you guys and see you and talk to you next year. Yeah, have a nice holidays, everyone. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Have a nice holidays. Bye -bye. Goodbye. Cheers. Bye -bye.